2023 Jaguar E-Pace. What's new? Adaptive Cruise Control comes standard. Optional premium black package wheels, adaptive suspension and black styling treatments. Last year's top trim 300 Sport discontinued. Part of the first E-Pace generation introduced for 2018. The lineup is now down to a single trim level and a handful of options. A new premium black pack optional package bundles an adaptive suspension with black exterior accents and 21-inch wheels, and adaptive cruise control with stop-and-go functionality now comes standard. Anyone who lives with tight parking or narrow streets will understand the appeal of small, stylish luxury SUV like the pace The Jack holds its own with its European rivals like the BMW X2, Volvo XC40 and Mercedes-Benz GLA. Jaguar favored a well-rounded approach to performance with the E-Pace. Our one gripe with the handling is the somewhat numb steering. It can be difficult to judge the necessary steering input to place the E-Pace exactly where you want it, especially on gentle bends. The firm leather seats in the E-Pace are comfortable and supportive for both short and long trips. Our test vehicle's power-adjustable front seats feature heating and ventilation, and both were quick and effective. The rear seats have decent bolstering and feel less flat than those in some rival SUV. We'd recommend sticking with the base 19-inch wheels to get the extra cushioning from the larger tire sidewalls. The controls are logically placed and easy to read, and the multifunction climate control knobs are genuinely clever. But the climate system's other buttons, as well as some of the controls on the steering wheel, use a haptic system that requires a somewhat finicky amount of pressure to operate correctly. The driver has a good amount of adjustment range from the seat and steering wheel plus a fairly commanding view of the road ahead. Rear passengers have a somewhat narrower door opening to navigate, but once inside, the low seat cushion is easy to slide across. Rear legroom isn't especially generous in the E-Pace, but taller passengers should have enough to be comfortable. The E-Pace's stunning 11.4-inch Pivi Pro infotainment system is the centerpiece of the Jaguar's modern, luxurious interior. Pleasing graphics and a relatively straightforward layout make it easy to use and explore. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, and the E-Pace offers wireless as well as ample USB and C charging options. Our test vehicle came with the optional Meridian surround sound system, which we would recommend considering given its affordable price. Sadly, the infotainment system's voice controls were glitchy in our testing. Simple commands, like changing the radio station, took upwards of 15 seconds but more often than not, the voice command system would simply fail. Jaguar has a lot of room left for improvement. The adaptive cruise control system was far too aggressive in changing its speed, especially when slowing down. Offering 22 point per cubic feet of cargo capacity, the E-Pace holds a bit more than the Mercedes GLA 250 and the Volvo XC40, which hold 15.4 and 20.7 cubes, respectively. Inside, the E-Pace offers a variety of storage options. There is a tray in front of the shifter, cup holders, and a fairly deep center console bin for front passengers. You'll appreciate the clearly marked and easily accessible Isofix anchors, but due to the somewhat limited rear legroom, fitting larger rear-facing child safety seats might require moving the front seats forward. Fuel Economy the EPA estimates the E-Pace gets 23 mpg in combined city-slash-highway driving, which is below average for a small luxury SUV. Featuring a well-crafted and stylish interior, the Jaguar E-Pace looks every bit like a top contender in the compact luxury SUV segment. While the exclusivity of the Jaguar brand and its modern appointments might warrant a slightly elevated price tag, the E-Pace can be downright expensive without offering any more luxury, tech or performance than most of its closest rivals.